Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on my second channel, More Peep Door. Real quick subject I wanted to cover on here today because it's just been kind of on my mind, and that is the odd discourse going on about the new Astrobot game on PlayStation 5. I've been playing it, I've been loving it. Some of you may or may not know I am a huge 3D platformer fan, and I have been waiting so long for more 3D platformers to come out and challenge Nintendo. Nintendo has always been at the forefront when it comes to making quality, amazing, highly polished in, in most, you know, many ways, uh, 3D platformers. And a lot of times on other consoles, we either just get drips and drabs, like very rarely we'll get a release that kind of tries to emulate a, a triple A experience when it comes to a true collectathon 3D platformer. But a lot of the times it is left up to the indie developers to kind of give us, you know, the days of old of 3D platformers. And sometimes they may miss the mark, sometimes they may hit it, but even so, even when you get a really fun playing 3D platformer from an indie developer, a lot of times it will be lacking in the production in terms of like how the game looks, how much budget the game had for all different things to make it just more visually appealing or meet the standards of the current generation. So why am I saying all this? Because, well, just recently I found out, I was completely unaware of this, you know, I know that people have fun with the taken jabs and with the console wars right we all remember the days of uh sega does what nintendo don't you know and now you're playing with power and you know we we know and love the old marketing slogans and campaigns between the console wars of nintendo and sega back in the day right it was a lot of fun a lot of us think back on that as very fond memories and fun times but apparently some of the people that maybe grew up in those generations still think the console wars are a thing. I just found out that there's actually people out there that are hating on Astrobot simply because it released just on PlayStation. And I, I actually didn't believe it, so I had to go, you know, searching through social media. I went on X and I just like typed in Astrobot and uh, sure enough, there's a lot of what I find very immature arguments going on where you you actually have people that are hating on Astrobot simply because it only exists on PlayStation. Like, fanboys, like, we, we know that fanboys exist, right? But I didn't actually think that they existed on this level, and my, my live stream, my chat had to educate me. I'm like, okay, I'm aware that PlayStation fans or fanboys that, you know, dislike the Xbox fans, they, they call them Xbots, which I think is kind of hilarious, honestly. But I'm like, wait, what do they call PlayStation fans? What do the Xbox people call PlayStation fans? Apparently they're called Sony Ponies. <laughs> It sounds like a joke, but it's not, and these people are serious. Apparently, some of them never grew up, and you have people in their 30s, 40s, heck, probably 50s and above, that are going on social media, doing videos, doing podcasts, and I'm not going to platform any of them on here. I'm not going to show their videos. I'm not going to show their faces, their channels, but if you look, you'll find them where they're just hating on Astrobot, a super fun, colorful game that makes me smile as well as a lot of other people smile. It, leaks, it makes fans of 3D platformers really happy. And, you know, not everybody's maybe able to afford all consoles. Maybe there are some people out there that don't own Nintendo consoles and they really like 3D platformers. And this is the best they've got in years, right? Like, let's let's face it, there haven't been some of the best 3D platformers out there. As much as I love games like Bell and Wonderworld, some people hate that game. And in a lot of ways, people were kind of hoping that that would be a revival of old school 3D collectathon platformers on a bit of a higher budget scale. And that's kind of the shoes that Astrobot is feel, uh, filling. And I was just looking at some of their arguments. They're like, wow, oh, this game is just so uninspired. It's like a Mario clone. It's like, hello, have you not looked at the video game industry for the past few decades? Look how many games are inspired by Mario 64. Are we slamming all of the... 3D platformers that are so obviously inspired by Mario 64 because they borrowed ideas from a game that pretty much revolutionized an entire genre when it came to 3D platformers. Have you seen what happened with Demon Souls and Dark Souls and how that game has pretty much spawned an entire genre of games that are heavily inspired, but wear the, you know, the pride of their inspiration on their sleeve? Like they tell you straight up, this is a Souls game. So is there anything really wrong with a game like Astrobot that probably is filled with a bunch of developers that grew up loving and playing Mario games, being able to create their dream game that is inspired by one of the all-time greats. And not just Mario 64, but inspired by other Mario games. Like, 
games are inspired by one another and there's nothing wrong with that this is how we um you know keep keep the hobby going keep people's interest in games going right so people that love 3d platformers you don't have to reinvent the wheel here right i've always said sometimes less is more and one of my pet peeves with 3d platformers was always that we'd get a 3d platformer and it would always have some kind of silly gimmick something in there that just felt completely unnecessary like maybe you can rewind time and it's like oh man that just feels so wrong or games that just have one too many annoying block pushing puzzles in them so to be able to get a game that is like astrobot where most of the game is just platforming discovering items and collecting things i think is actually a good thing because some of us want exactly that but I was just so blown away that there are people out there that, and don't get me wrong, it is completely okay to criticize games. I don't want to be hypocritical here. I criticize games all the time. I'm not a Sony fanboy. I'm not an Xbox fanboy. I, I have all consoles. I play everything. I don't care what console the game is on. And I think it's really immature for people to actually care about what the console is. Criticize the game, not not the platform. Because I, you know, I play a lot of PlayStation games, but I'm not afraid to criticize games like Concord. I didn't agree with the direction that Concord took, and I slam that game. I slam, I slam PlayStation all the time with all the, the slop they let through on PlayStation Network. They have no quality control. But at the same time, I can appreciate and love games like Astrobot. I've used a lot of Xbox over the years for Game Pass, and I love that as a service when I am using it, but right now I'm not. But am I going to hate on people that use xbox for game pass no i'm not enjoy the games that you want to enjoy feel free to criticize the games you want to criticize but don't criticize people that play games or don't criticize games in particular just because they're not on your platform of choice and i just wanted to kind of talk about this because i had no idea like i thought people just joked about the console wars being a thing in 2024 but i didn't actually think there were people out there that seriously like take this serious and they go on attacks and tirades on social media and on youtube and wherever what other other platforms that they use very immature anyway i don't want this video to go on too long I, it's just something that i wanted to talk about and also encourage all of you to play some astrobot it's an absolutely fantastic wonderful game that has been bringing a smile to my face and it's been something that i've been waiting on for so long and uh don't let anybody tell you that you should dislike this game because it is heavily influenced by games of the past and it's exclusive to a certain platform that's just wild to me anyway thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next video be sure to subscribe to this channel by the way if you're not subscribed to my second channel i put up some alternative bonus content on this channel that normally i would not upload on my main channel so be sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video